What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Let me say this. Um, every person, regardless of your social status, regardless of their social status, their financial status, every person deserves to be respected. Um, nobody should have it in their mind that because a person is this or that, it gives you a right to disrespect them. Typically, we see poor people always being mistreated and disrespected, and that's something that, unfortunately, we have grown accustomed to in this society. But this video is basically to talk about how just because a person may have money, just because a person is rich, just because a person is famous, that does not give you the right to be disrespectful to them. doesn't matter. You have people who have this thought process, and I'm, I got this one particular guy in my head, because he always does this, but they have this thought process that says that if you are a multimillionaire, billionaire, particularly multimillionaire, billionaire, black person, and he's black, he don't go after nobody but black people. Um, if you are in that bracket, then nothing that anybody does to you should bother you. Shouldn't matter what people say to you. Shouldn't matter what people do to you. Shouldn't matter what people do to your property. Hey man, you rich. Shouldn't matter. Quit whining. Quit playing victim. And those are a lot of the words that are used. Those are typically um, racist talking points that are used um, against black people when they speak out on actual issues that victimize them you're only playing victim when you pretending that something happened to you that did not happen if you speaking about something that actually happened that you were actually victimized by then you in fact are a victim and it's different levels but the point i'm making is that it wouldn't matter if i had two billion dollars three hundred million dollars Disrespect is disrespect. So if I'm at a game, like E-40 was at a game, and you got a, a Karen trying to be disrespectful, then I got the right to defend myself. I got the right to defend myself verbally, and I got the right to defend myself physically if need be. I remember when LeBron James' home got vandalized a few years back and this same guy said that LeBron was playing victim and basically that he shouldn't even be tripping. This should be a non-issue because LeBron got money. LeBron's rich, so that shouldn't even bother him. Just spray paint over it and go on with your life. And they sprayed the N-word all over his property. But I'm supposed to just, hey, I got money. That's cool. I don't, ain't, no, ain't no big deal. See, these are the envious, um, self-hating mentalities that unfortunately a lot of black people have when they look at a person who has went far above and beyond and exceeded anything that they could ever imagine doing in their own life. So there's a deep-seated envy that sits inside people like this. So when you put those people in front of a microphone or in front of a camera, now they have the ability to express or, 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 or vent out that hate that they have. Don't let people lead you to believe that your success gives them a pass to disrespect you. That's just simply not the case. It doesn't matter. Um, people worked hard to get to where they are just like you worked hard to get to wherever you are. So what if you being where you are, Mr. Envious, self-hating uh, sellout, I'm pretty sure that this guy is doing better than the average person. So... Does that give somebody who's in a lower financial bracket than you to come along and disrespect you, vandalize your property? Hey, I ain't got no car. You got a car, so I'm going to smash your windows out. 
Does that give them a pass because you're doing better than them? Nah. You 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 start people off the same way you would want to be started. If I I we have a lot of um people in different levels of society, but I'm coming to everybody upon that initial contact with respect until shown otherwise. But my respect is not going to be based around what you have or what you don't have. And regardless if you you got it, you got it like that, that doesn't make me dismissive of anything that happens to you that shouldn't have happened to you. If there's a legitimate claim um, of victimization, then you got every right to scream that from the mountaintops regardless of how much money you got. I'm just supposed to shut up because I'm rich and there are other people. That, hey man, racism is racism, oppression is oppression, and this country has always proven that no matter how rich a black man get, no matter how rich a black woman get, they'll still knock you down to size because they feel like psh, you should be grateful for the opportunity to enjoy what we gave you in the first place. But it makes it worse when you got one of your own that feeds that mentality, that feeds that ideology. So now, a person having money does not give you the right to harass them, to talk crazy to them, to put your hands on them. It does not give you the right to do that. You're gonna, you, you should respect if all people, again, until shown otherwise. All right, man, it's your big brother, K. Reno. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this topic and um, leave a comment, hit that thumbs up and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and keep your notifications on um, and I'll catch y'all with another one real soon. Peace.